All right, guys. Oh, it's blurry. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm not going to include this in the series because I, it's a little mini video. I was going to do it without the camera, but I thought, you know, what the hell? Let's just make a video. If we, if this does work, it's just going to go into the series. Uh, th it's going to be the next video, which is going to be upgrades in the Armors Work Custom High Kappa. So let's just go ahead and try it out. We're going to see if you can put a TM. Uh, TM uh, blowback unit into an armor's working and actually you get it to work. One thing I want you guys to notice right off the bat, look how big air, uh, the uh, AW or uh, armor's work custom nozzle is versus the TM. It's, it's a huge difference, okay? You cannot fit an armor's work in here, okay? It's just not going to happen. And TM fits in here but the piston head okay so you can see it's just the TM's TM's loading nozzles are very small compared to armored work loading nozzles so that's one thing you cannot do so if you plan on if this actually does work you would you would be switching from you would be leaving this platform completely and sticking to this uh, TM platform well this is let's see if it works you notice right off the bat there's two things we're not adjusting one, I did not make a top, I'm not making a hole in here for the screw to go in the rear side. The pin already got lost from playing to that HSB. Uh, the pin just, it just, you know, popped out, which sucks. So we're not going to make a hole on top of here. The only mod we did is just to, you know, to cut it so we can keep this part in. Right there, I'll show you right there. And there's, you can see right here, right here, you see, this so. There's a space here, so the question is, I can put a space to here, but I'm going to try it without a rear. I'm going to try it without the space at first. So we're just going to give it a shot. The only thing I can say is this loading nozzle is really tight on here. Okay, it takes quite a bit of force to put on in here, but we'll see if it functions anyways. So let's try it out. See if we can get a TM to work in here. Um, and then we'll talk about this. Actually, let's just weigh for the difference right now. We have to include this because this is attached to it. All right, so 32.7 grams versus 18.1 grams. So we do have a big difference in weight. If this does work and you're like, you know, how can I make the armors work, you know, I kept it faster. Obviously, you would do that, but I don't know. I feel like this, this is such a big diameter that might give it more power, more speed. I don't know. Okay, we'll just let's just try it out first. This is what we're here for to see if the um, if you can start using custom uh, blowback units in here. We're gonna just drop it right in. And if you guys don't want to cut your blowback unit. You guys, seriously, it's not going to damage it. It's, it will still work perfectly in any aftermarket slide I have for a TM. The joke is you're, you're seeing a little, you know, <laughs> you're cutting off a little bit, right? It's not a big deal. So um, just Dremel and hand pile. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as you can fit in. I'm pretty sure I did it correct where it will sit flush. I didn't do flush, we'll know. We'll know right off the bat. And looks like I got lucky. Okay, let's try this and see if this works. This is with no spacer, but I don't think we need that spacer because it's already held in place by. Oh, what's it hitting? The screw's too long. Oh no, that's. I didn't think about that. Oh boy. Okay, we got an issue. I can't, I, oh man, I'm so stupid. Um, the, the rear of the slide. Oh man, that's a big modification to do as well. Oh, Okay, you know what? Let's just try it. What's, what's happening is there's no pocket for the screw to sit in. Because it has this style of... 
It's using this one. Oh, you guys, it's too blurry. It's using this one, you guys, you know, the flyhead one. All right, let's just see what's going to happen is probably the hammer will hit it and it won't, it won't fully seat. That's super, that's really out there. That's not, you can see how, look how far that is. Oh, this is so, so tight. Oh, All right, you know what, screw it. Let's just try it out. I don't think it's gonna work. You technically need a, t uh, you could. That goes in here. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. This is what we're doing the video for, right, guys? The question is do you. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, you ain't. I don't think this, this isn't going to fully seat. Uh, maybe it could. Alright, here goes nothing, guys. Uh, it seems to be working. My best guess is that we're going to lose FPS, though. Couldn't we couldn't? No, this. Whew. Yeah, we need to we need to see how much the chrono is at. Okay, guys, what was the point of reference? Was it was it 320? Was it 320 FPS with uh, 20s? Uh, that was with the gas mag. Let me get the gas mag. We have the armors work custom uh, bullshit that doesn't look like anything different mag that they charge you more for. <laughs> Alright, we got a couple shots. Let's get some propane in here. I do want to see it's miserably cold in here. Okay. Should be enough. Let's get a temperature reader in here since it's actually pretty good. No, oh, that's not. That's all right. We're at 72, 73. What is that 72, 73 Fahrenheit? All right. Let's set this up. These are 20s. What do we have here? We have 20s. Excellent. turn around and that is with the rear screw sitting out far so man that is a really hard choice the question is do you want to mod the slide or do you want to cut the screw in half I don't know man you got this is some serious this is actually to the point where like you're gonna mod it and you can't take a step backward you can't Unless, and then there's gotta be a way. I'll try to think of something, but seems to be working. All right, what are we shooting at? Where's my trap? Okay, trap is behind you guys. I'm gonna put the trap up next to the left of me, and I'll read it off to you guys. What is that? 332. 329, 324, 329, uh, 326, out, 316, 315, and we're, looks like we're out. Guys, I gotta be honest. I'm always honest with you guys. It actually feels better with 
the stock one. It doesn't actually feel any better with this configuration. It, it actually just it doesn't. Uh, and I, I don't like the fact that you know this screw is sticking out, and you'd have to mod this. The joke, guys, is this these blowback units are forty bucks. Is ah, I just can't get over it. It's you know it's almost you know just two more two more blowback units, and you could get this gun again. It's just I don't know. That results. I'm actually not going to recommend a lightweight blowback unit because you're going to have to mod this fly beyond the point you, you can't. Around unless you get a custom screw to get in lightweight, and then the only thing I gotta say, the only benefit would if you can switch over to this is that you get more options for loading nozzles instead of having to buy the same one over and over because they are very different. Okay, the uh, the AW uh, Elmer's work is just is huge compared to stock TM. Okay, uh, that's the end of this video. I I'm probably gonna work on my thoughts a little more and then. I'll do the upgrade video on, on uh, if I think it's worth it. Just right now, my initial no, but maybe I'll change my mind with the new uh, with the video. Okay, you guys saw the results. It does work, but it's just it doesn't. Uh, all right, that's it for me. I'll see you guys around.